Hi everybody, Steve with Midwest Panel Builders and we've got a uh, little tip for you today to help save you a little bit of money when you're wiring up your starter contactor. So what we want to talk about today is the starter contactor. On the Rotax IS series engines, you're going to have two leads that go to it from the Rotax harness itself. One is going to be the power input to the solenoid to actually close it and the other one is going to be a ground. One of them is a ring terminal, one of them is a spade connector. So let me show you what mistake seems to happen sometimes. So here's the starter contactor itself, and in this one we have the um, cable that comes in from the battery on one side, and then it goes to the starter on the other side. Then we have this little spade connector right here that is supposed to go on to the little blade of the contactor. This is what actually starts it. This is all good, most people figure this out. But where the problem comes in is this ring terminal that's back here. Because it's a ring terminal, it is often confused with needing to go onto this terminal with these battery cables. This is a ground. If you stick this onto this terminal, you're going to send power right through your grounds and it's going to melt all these wires that are in the harness. One wire melts and then it melts the other ones next to it. So what this is meant to be is this is a ground for the solenoid itself. Because the solenoid is rubber isolated from the body, we have to have a ground. So what you need to do is stick that ring terminal under one of the nuts that holds the solenoid to the uh, airframe. All right, so that's the overview of the starter contactor and how it's hooked up. As you can see, it could be easy to make that mistake of putting the ring terminal in the wrong spot. So we wanted to do this video because we have had several builders that did that, and then it's gonna cost a lot of time trying to get that fixed. So um, hopefully this won't happen to anybody else, and that's why we're putting this video out. So we thank you for watching, and have a good day.